In the grand scale of the universe, Earth is nothing more than a tiny speck, beautiful, vibrant, and full of life, but almost invisible against the backdrop of the cosmos. And yet, from this fragile duck, humanity dared to dream, to explore, and to venture beyond what anyone thought was possible. That dream became reality through two extraordinary spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, each launched with a mission to unveil the secrets of our solar system and beyond. It all began in 1977, a time when space exploration was still in its golden infancy. On August 20th, Voyager 2 lifted off from Earth, followed closely by Voyager 1 on September 5th. Their missions were clear. Explore the outer planets, collect data, and send it back to Earth. But what was once a goal to observe the outer solar system would soon evolve into one of humanity's most remarkable journeys into interstellar space. From the very beginning, the mission exceeded expectations. Within a year of their launch, the Voyagers reached Jupiter, sending back more than 4,000 breathtaking images. Among these were photos of swirling clouds, the iconic Great Red Spot, and two new moons never before seen by humankind. Then came an astonishing revelation volcanic activity on Io, one of Jupiter's moons. Until that moment, volcanism was believed to exist only on Earth. Voyager shattered that belief. But the wonders didn't stop there. The spacecraft continued to Saturn, where Voyager 1 performed a flyby of Titan on November 11, 1980. Scientists once believed Titan to be a colossal moon with a rocky surface, but the data revealed something far more complex. Titan was smaller than anticipated, but it was wrapped in a dense atmosphere, ten times thicker than Earth's, filled with nitrogen and organic molecules. Methane lakes and mysterious chemistry hinted at possibilities once confined to science fiction. Was this moon a distant cousin to our own planet? Meanwhile, Voyager 2 took its own historic path. On January 24, 1986, it made its closest approach to Uranus, unveiling a cold, bluish world surrounded by narrow rings and accompanied by eleven moons. The spacecraft discovered that Uranus had the coldest atmosphere in the solar system, plunging to minus 224 degrees Celsius, and a magnetic field tilted far off from its rotational axis. Then, in 1989, Voyager 2 reached Neptune, revealing supersonic winds, massive storms, and even more moons orbiting the ice giant. As they ventured further, the mission transformed. Originally designed to explore planets, Voyager 1 and 2 were now hurtling toward the boundary of the solar system, into the unknown realm of interstellar space. Scientists extended the mission, hungry to know what lay beyond the sun's influence. On February 14, 1990, Voyager 1 looked back and captured what became one of the most iconic images in space exploration history, the family portrait of our solar system. Among the 60 images stitched together, Earth appeared as a tiny blue dot, just 0.12 pixels wide. It was a humbling moment, a reminder of our place in the vastness of space. As Carl Sagan once described it, a mode of dust suspended in a sunbeam. But this was far from the end. Voyager 1 became the most distant human-made object in 1998, surpassing Pioneer 10. Then, in 2012, it crossed the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends, becoming the first spacecraft to enter interstellar space. Voyager 2 followed in 2018, confirming that our journey beyond the stars had truly begun. In this new region, Voyager 1 made an eerie discovery. It detected a faint, low-frequency hum, an interstellar whisper created by plasma waves in the void. This subtle signal revealed that space isn't silent. It's alive with the energy of charged particles, and Voyager was listening. The mission also faced moments of silence. In 2020, NASA temporarily lost contact with Voyager 2 due to renovations on Deep Space Station 43, the only antenna capable of sending it commands. For 11 long months, humanity held its breath, unsure if the spacecraft could survive without guidance. But even in silence, Voyager 2 kept transmitting its precious data. And when communication resumed in 2021, it was still alive, still exploring. Then came another unexpected surprise. Both Voyagers detected plasma density in regions thought to be void of matter, proving that interstellar space is not empty, 
but filled with mysterious energy and structure. These findings open new doors in our understanding of the universe. They showed that even in the darkest reaches of space, there is movement, interaction, and potential. Perhaps what makes the Voyager mission so extraordinary is not just its longevity, but its humanity. Each spacecraft carries a golden record, a time capsule filled with the sounds of Earth, greetings in multiple languages, music, and images. It's a message to the cosmos, a hopeful gesture from one species on one small planet, reaching out into the infinite. More than 45 years later, the Voyagers are still going, still pushing the boundaries of what we know. They've traveled over 22 billion kilometers from Earth, through the radiation belts of Jupiter, past the icy rings of Saturn, and into the silence between stars. What they've sent back has redefined astronomy, planetary science, and our place in the cosmos. They have outlived their creators, survived the harshest environments, and defied the odds. They are reminders of what human ingenuity can achieve when driven by curiosity, vision, and courage. The Voyager mission has become a testament to the idea that we are not confined to Earth, that we are explorers by nature. As they drift farther into the void, their power will eventually fade, their instruments will fall silent, and their signals will cease. But their journey will not end. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 will continue to travel, forever carrying the hopes, dreams, and message of humanity into the galaxy. So the next time you look up at the stars and feel small, remember, a tiny speck called Earth once sent two fragile machines into the vastness of space, and they are still going. Voyager is not just a mission. It's a legacy. It's our fingerprint on the stars.